All right, so we are currently in Albaicin. It's a district of the city of Granada in Andalusia, and it's actually where Alhambra is located. It's a pretty interesting city because it was built by the Moorish back in the Middle Ages when they had control over this region. And it had a very important role around here. Wait, it's getting too loud. Let me get a little bit to the side. So back in 1994, this city together with Alhambra have been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now we have to walk about 15 to 20 minutes up to Alhambra. And this is where we will be spending the next three hours after this. <music> finally managed to enter the Alhambra complex, I guess it's the best word to call it, because it's pretty, pretty huge. Even to get to the place where we have a specific entry at a specific time, we have to walk like 15 minutes. So we would never have managed to get here at 8.30 like we wanted before. We would have been late anyways. Now we have the entry for 9.30 a.m. And well, I hope that it's worth it because we paid double the ticket prices. We bought them twice, in other words, because I'm an idiot. Wow, those people were insane. I mean, this palace is full of all these carvings over here made by hand. This is just a small part, but all the wall over there. And also the wall over there. This is just in this space over here. Oh, everything is carved by hand. It's really beautiful. I didn't expect this to be so beautiful. Now we are getting into the next room. It's even better. We did it, we got out of the Palacios Nazarias. What's your opinion on that? Amazing. Beautiful, right? My God. All the carvings and the construction. It's really so interesting. So much carving. Should we say, yeah, even the architecture was very interesting. Yeah. Many small pillars and stuff like that. It's actually and, very, very and interesting. Arches. Like and the arches. And arches. Yeah. So, yeah, but now we are going, well, there are like two other buildings over here that we can check out that are interesting. Also looking for a coffee to drink and something small to eat, maybe. And then it's time to go into the car and continue to the other end of Spain, I guess. Or south. don't exactly know where. So this building wasn't the most interesting. Well, it's more a fortification compared to a palace, which was the previous building. But at least we got a nice view from up there in the tower, so pretty happy with that. Honestly, this morning it was really cool. I mean, the weather, because it had cooled down during the night, it was in the low 20s. Yeah, now the sun is rising and the temperature is rising and it's not bearable under the sun anymore. Well, it's still not that hot. Yesterday when we arrived, it was like 35 degrees, I think. But yeah, anyways, we continue. Now we look for something to drink and then we get to the car and continue on to the end of the world. What are you having right now? I'm having a cafe con leche, which is a coffee with milk. Of course, it's the first coffee of the day. Yeah, it is. How does it feel to only drink like one coffee a day? And uh, at, at noon instead of in the morning? <laughs> well, I don't feel any different. Maybe a bit tired. I don't feel any different. I'm tired the whole day. I'm tired, tired, but I don't feel any different. Maybe a bit tired. Now we are at the beautiful gardens of Generalife. Actually, I have no idea what Generalife stands for. Maybe I have to check it out and put it down below as a subtitle. Uh, that's the last station for today's Alhambra visit. See you in our next stop.
we are really enjoying the scenery that we are driving through right now. This mountainous region in Spain is awesome. We are almost at the south coast and well, it's really, really dry or it was dry before passing that mountain over there. Behind me you can see a mountain and there's a pass over there and back on the other side it was really dry. On this side it's a little bit more green, still very dry compared to Switzerland at least, but pretty green. Now we'll show you some drone footage that I took and that I will take and I hope you enjoy it and see you again in Malaga. Finally arrived at the pension. The, it's actually. Ooh, she's going to kill me. <laughs> no. So the thing is actually today was a shorter day than the last two days. It was. But still, I'm feeling the last two days, and now we are here. What time is it? Uh, six almost. Six almost. We arrived at yeah. this pension. We we checked in. We received some gifts that uh, I will show you right away, or Evelyn will show you actually. Yeah. But now. Question, what are we going to do now? We are going to buy dinner and then we come home and we'll work till whenever we want to go to sleep. All right, sounds good to me. But first, show us the, the gifts while I show, show the room. Oops, Ow. excuse me, my love, I kicked her. So back here is my little working setup. I've already taken out the laptop. Still need to charge it, but I didn't get so far. Our bedroom. And the less important place, bathroom. bathroom. Yes, and what's the gift? Well, I think it's very funny because he got us um, a beer and a Coke Zero, which is actually exactly what we drink. Yeah. So how did he know? Beer for her and the Coke Zero for me, of course, because she's the drunk and I never drink. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah, but I don't think that I'll be doing much more vlogging today. But tomorrow will be another day with more driving and more enjoying and we'll maybe we'll see another continent if we get lucky. So see you again tomorrow. Bye bye.